Yeah. All right, Chris, you're Chris, you're the king of podcasts, so you you begin this. All right. One second, I'm gonna get a little closer, real quick. Why are you recording on the camera on the phone? I'm not. I'm record. Yeah, I'm recording on the phone. But you. Well, no, it, it doesn't. It only picks up one way, so it wasn't working good. Oh, okay. You know, I, 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 I don't know tell. Okay. Well, here, let me start. Let me start a podcast then. Three, two, one. <laughs> Welcome to the David Lee Bart podcast. I am your host, Christian Petrum Tony. We don't do that the whole time. Okay, do we? Call mm, oh no, no, not at all. This, this, this is just the intro. Okay. Call us something I'd like to. Uh, I'd like that. to introduce my guest, uh, Ryan Blotto. Hello, I'm Ryan Blotto. Um, Joe Ricotta. Say your name. David leave a heart, but you know, Dave Roberts. This is only this is only for our pleasure. All right, and uh, without further ado, we are David going to start the podcast. podcast. Enjoy. All right, this is uh, this is a podcast, and where we have co- consistent, coherent conversation. The three C's. That's what we like to emphasize here. So we have to pick a topic, David, and we have to stick to it. And, not to and mention, we just have to talk about it. Not to mention to the audience, this is David Lee Park, the famous actor, musician, and comedian. Yeah, I, you know, I, 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 I don't understand why um, they give me a blind date with women that look like trolls. Ugly girls. All right. So and I don't know why today you did is- that to me. Yeah, you got me a blind date with a woman that looked like a troll. Why you do that to me? I deserve something as an actor, someone really pretty and smart and attractive and pretty. Would you give me a troll to date? A blind date. It was just for a skit, David. I mean, that was not David, funny at all. David, and David had red hair like a troll. She was only one of the only girls that would go through with it, David, on Tinder. Oh, no, you liar. She never met her. On, she never met me on Tinder, and she tells her everybody she did. She looks like a troll. Her hair is dead red. Man, my, when I sat by her, my penis... Uh, shriveled like a like a like a like a, a withered flower. Speaking of penises, <clears throat> what is all right? First topic: What is the hottest cartoon character? That, you know, hold hold uh, on, we all, we all take turns. Chris, you go first. Hottest cartoon. I, I character. need to go around. I, oh wait, actually, does, does anime count? Yeah, it's it's anime. Sailor Mercury. Sailor, Sailor Mercury Moon. from Sailor Moon. David. All right. Oh, well, no, that David. We'll no, say I'll say David and Dave. If you ever play GTA, there's a hentai in the TV. Like if you watch TV on the game, uh-huh. and it's called Robot Princess Bubblegum or some shit like that. <laughs> well, she's you, got like huge joints, dude. And the fucking well, you know who I like? Who's that, David? I like the Pelopi Pitchcock. She played on the Wacky. What Ranger. do you like? Who? The Pelopi Pitchcock. She was a pretty blonde girl. Yeah, and, and I Penelope Pitstop. Not to mention Daphne from Scooby Doo. I, I thought that was, Daphne. I thought that was your favorite. I had a dream. I would like to have a sandwich. And both of those girls are hot. Man, they're so they're hotter than a fire. They're eating and hotter than eating something real hot. I love Penelope Pitchcock, and I love uh, Daphne. I, they, I would like to be the meat in between both of those. What do you like the most about Daphne? Oh, Daphne, she's got nice, attractive. Long legs, like a, and she's got a beautiful, beautiful pyramids that I would love to climb on. And then she's got she's shapey, better than a Pepsi Coca bottle. I'd love to hold her. I like to be the Tom Cat. I'm about for that <laughs> I like to be the Tom Cat for that cat. All right, Joe. Uh, probably say Daphne. Oh. Come on, David already said that. Let's see what was second best. Well, I was thinking of uh, the mom from Incredibles. Just like, mm-hmm. The mom wow. from You got me acting up. And she's yeah. already broken into well, you this. Mentioned uh-huh. you, you mentioned Daphne. Right? Yeah, but, but imagine that was the, mom the, from Incred- kid, the, the mom from Incredibles, though. you got to imagine. Is that the right she, head? Yeah. She's having a sexual relationship with Mr. Incredible, and you can only imagine oh, he's a clown. Oh, you, know, well, you can only I, imagine how loose she is. Well, let me from tell you, you know, you know who mine is probably would be? Oh. oh! Fantastic Four, the girl? You know, you know who mine probably would be? You know, you're, you oh, know, yeah. uh, I'm right. sure you know who mine probably would be? Yes, it, oh. I don't know if you guys have ever watched Total Drama Island. Mm. Oh, wow. She's Gwen, don't, uh, Gwen? No. Oh, she's hot. Well, Gwen was one of them, but I always thought... The other one was hotter. Lindsay, the blonde. Oh, one. the dumb blonde. Yeah, the dumb blonde. The dumb blonde. Let me show you. Yes. Yeah. Did, you ever, <laughs> did you ever watch Gilligan's Island? 
any of them. I've seen maybe an episode or two there. Yeah. Well, there's yeah, isn't that that's from the 60s, right? In the 60s, Ginger. Man, you let Ginger get into your salad, man. She was hot to trot. Ginger from Gilligan's Island. And she was better than the Ginger. Oh, my goodness. She really was a beautiful French, French brunette. She French, what do you call it? The French bread that you eat? Baguette. She was a beautiful baguette. A baguette. Man, I would not She don't want good now, I'll tell you. Yeah, oh, David, what, what about all those actresses that let themselves go and became dykes? Um, it was very sad. I used to have a crush on the woman who played on this old show called Dobie Gillis. And I had a crush on this woman. She had beautiful black hair. She was Dobie Gillis's girlfriend, and she even <clears throat> married Do Dobie Gillis. She's now a dyke. I would date her even being a dyke. She's David. totally ready. I had a crush on uh, Rhoda. My goodness. I Who? Rhoda from uh, Valerie Harper. She was so hot and she was a big awesome. Boy, you don't know women if you don't know. Your girlfriend <laughs> looks like Rhoda who played on Two and a Half Men. Yeah, I know that one. And she was only on the show for two years and they let this fat Angel, white Angemina take over the show. What was that fat <laughs> white Angemina? Who I guess, the, the, I guess the, fat people got to work in the business too, Dave. Man, she, she, you got to let, you can't. She, she, she was so fat, the, the fat Angemina, she was a white What's wrong Angemina, with fat girls, Dave? But she, well, let them sit on you and fart, you know, John Wells. I always had nightmares of the fat woman from Two and a Half Men making out with me. And she says, I, he says, you claim that you can't get a girl he got all of me, and she was like the gravy on all my, my sweet potatoes. Dude, I'm still laughing at it. <laughs> and, 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 and I, Let her sit on you and fart, David. That was the best. That was hilarious. And she got all of the shows. She looked like she took over the whole TV. You couldn't even see the two and a half men. The woman who was the, 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 the maid on a, a two and a half men. David, I, this might be personal, but was that from experience? <laughs> I don't know. It was a nightmare. What? Wait, did you have, did you do something with a fat chick? No. What, what do you know? What it feels I had like? a dream, and she was already <laughs> married. But Nell Carver used to have a crush on me from Give Me a Break. She was first on Sheriff Lobo. She said, "I want you to write, uh, uh, put, put my uh, poems to music." And she says, "Well, you know, I already have a, a white husband that's Jewish. He would it would be in kosher if we were close. <laughs> it wouldn't be kosher, but we can just be friends." That's what Nell Carver told me. She was, a, she was on the show. Give me a break. She had lots of love. She's a big fat woman. David, you know a, a lot of shows that we don't know about. I don't know a single show well, you you're talking about. you can see them on the reruns. You know who else I had? The, uh, the wife on The Monsters Hot. On, on The Monsters you know, Hot. Is that another 60s show, David? It's another 60s show. Oh, boy. And the, whim, and the, the wife David, on you know the family. best thing you've ever And you know who was <laughs> really hot. Was the mother on Leave It to Beaver? All right, all right. David, you're going all. Oh. Okay, David, dropping dropping the hot topic. You can talk you know, about hot girls all day. Know, yeah. Do you know what the best single piece of media that you've ever shown me is? What? Fucking Sugar Bear. I will forever contribute that to you. <laughs> David showed us this cartoon character from '60s commercials Sugar called Bear. Sugar Bear. Th this guy is the coolest possible guy. You could ever like. He's an Alex Presley. Right, he's like he's like a bear that like came to like take this like the cereal and like the commercials. You can't get enough of that sugar cream. And he was just like he was so slick. He was like he was like sugar bear, sugar bear, sugar bear. And like there's like some like villain. He's like, and he just like takes him down. He's like, slow down, dog. Those are my cereal. And like and then he'll just like go up. What's the dude? What was the, what was the one in space when he was like floating in space? What do you say to the grandma? Like oh, big universe or something? Yeah, yeah, no, no. He was like. The, the grandma was looking because he like stole like the the cereal from the grandma, the and then he like went ran and went into space, and the grandma was in space that tried yeah, to get him. And she's like, "What's up, Graham? Small universe." <laughs> <laughs> you what's up, Graham? Small universe? Like he's being like sly at what yeah. you. Know, he reminds me of a first black Muslim uh, teddy bear. <laughs> Who well, the first black Muslim teddy bear? Was he Muslim? I didn't know teddy bears could be racist. <laughs> But he, he, I, I, every time I thought about him, I thought about him being a sugar bear, the cool sugar bear. He's cool. Yeah. <laughs> David, they have races for teddy bears? He's the first black Muslim teddy bear. <laughs> well, you can tell he's black. Just by the way he talks. And Muslim. I don't know about Muslim. I don't know where that he's came cool. in. He's a cool brother. 
Oh, well, why is he Muslim? Well, he could be, well, he could be, he said, I'm a Muslim that loves all people. I don't have any races. You know, the Muslim church was, a, the Muslims were spit off from the Christians. Just like the Lutherans were spit, uh, spit, uh, spit off from yeah, the Yeah, no, I got that. But what, what, what about Sugar Bear makes him a Muslim? Well, he's just cool black boy, man. He's cool. And, he is, I can uh, see the black. Yeah, I see the cool black. Yeah. But I don't see the Muslim. <laughs> Muslim in Sugar Bear. Well, he's a we'll sugar have to show bear, you guys uh, Sugar Bear later. We're my... Yeah. yeah, sugar bear, sugar bear, sugar bear. Yeah. Uh, okay, and, uh, and, 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 and oh yeah, he's he's cool. And the, the lion's the lion's hardest. And oh the, yeah. Yeah, he's he, 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 you know he looks like the he could be the he could be a, a Donald Trump. Are lion, we about to lion be lion talking, hardest. David? Are we about to be talking about Compton? Because me and Ryan had an experience in Compton. I heard because you saw someone jump into someone's car. There was car a car being over. broken into. There was a car being broken into when we were in a Burger King parking lot. Ooh, Big, Burger scary. King drive through well, I, I told you to stay away from yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I was high, like, on life at the moment. So it's like, you know, I didn't I cry. told you to stay out of there. I take the blue line light rail through Compton, and they shoot guns right through the train. <laughs> yeah, is well, it really as bad as they say? Is, I've heard stories about that. It is scary, dairy. Where I didn't even know it was in California. Came from Compton, he was very white. He used to be a tough guy. He fought better, better, better than he sang. Can't get enough of my fighting. Uh, he was can't a, get enough <laughs> of your love. Can't get enough of my fighting. Can't get enough of that sugar crisp. Oh wait, sugar crisp. I don't know why I kept saying sugar bear. Sugar Can't bear, get that sugar crisp. Yeah, I think sugar we, we should probably pass sugar the ball crisp. to Ricardo because well, he hasn't made any good podcasts. You should, you should, I, got a, I got a question. Yeah, All right. Because oh, Ricardo, I feel you got to say something. You're interested. What's your question? Well, your question, my question to you, Chris. Oh, stop. Is um, <laughs> what's the uh, forum? The, oh, oh my God! I forgot about that. What's the forum that you watch porn on? You know, this is really weird. Uh, you shook my hand. I had the strangest dream. I had a dream. Let David make his point. I had a dream that a tweet was making out with a woman. And that was a skinny, beautiful white woman. I thought that was strange. Right, but I want to hear, I guess. <laughs> no, wait, Let's let him hear. continue his story. Uh, I had a dream that a beautiful white tweet um, was, I was, this beautiful white woman was in my apartment. And she says, I'm going to give you a lot of my sugar crisps. But I, I'm going to give it first to a white tweet that's white like me. And he says, honey, I, I only got it for guys. He says, when I get done writing you, you'll never think about a guy again. And this beautiful white woman that looked like Penelope Puspot from, uh, from the Wacky Racers, she worked that tweet over at everywhere. And when that tweet, oh, guess who got worked over? So like he says, you know, fuck going with guys. I'm gonna get some pussy from now on. All right. David, oh, do, you David. Want to hear, do you want to hear what what website he watches porn on? What well, nah, 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 tell us. Wrong suspected. <laughs> yeah, but I told you I tell you during the podcast, it's gonna be in the podcast. I just no, right now. You that, got, this is, I just asked you, so it's really you kind of me to a, a cartoon porn? porn. David, ask him what what porn. <laughs> Please. What porn do you like? What porn porn do you like? Uh, just, listen. And porn is worse than liquor and alcohol. Yeah, it what is. is it? What is it, Chris? It's just... You know, I, I got... I'll tell you, you ought to have Lorette come and visit you. They'll tell you porn is wrong. Okay. You know, it'll make your penis become... I need, a, little, I need, to a, up. I need, a, I need another beer first. Okay. And a beer, and then we'll hear the porn. <laughs> no, chug a beer. Be done with the beer. And then it can't be that bad. I just don't, I'm not... Well, you have a chalk that Dave, that, 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 Yeah, that. what's up, dude? You see any pretty girls at FedEx where you work? Yeah, he does. <laughs> From what I hear. Yeah, he was a couple. Oh, do you ever get to uh, package them in your heart and take them out? Uh, no, because <laughs> she's dating Pablo Escobar right now. Oh, damn, jam. Yeah. Those Latins always get to their girls. They do. They that get them nice. all. They're like a Pokemon, those Latins. Guy, a Latin guy took my wife right. from me, Roberto we'll Julius Gonzalez. <laughs> They're like Pokemon. They always get their girls. They always get their balls. So come back and talk to us. Don't be a shy fly. Yeah, tell Chris. us the porn you porn porn you like. Just say it. Oh, did, on, dude, man. tell us the porn. Tell us the porn corn you like to pop on in your in microwave. Did you like to watch on TV? Yeah, yeah. Come on. Don't be a shy this fly. Our, tell us. This is our like public access. You know it's not going anywhere. <laughs> PBS, dude. We're, oh, we're recording it so it goes. You know, I had a crush on a woman who played on 
on Mr. Oh, Rogers' okay. neighborhood. I had a crush on Lady e Everlyn. She was so hot. Lady Everlyn. And now her hair is white like snow. She was so beautiful. I always dreamed about holding her hand and dating her. Uh, and then I had a nightmare about dating Lady Elaine. Oh, she used to have long hair, and she looks like a drag queen of Robin Williams as a, 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 as a, as a, a man. What? Uh, it's, uh, it's, when you look at Lady Elaine, she has Robin Williams' nose and face. The puppet who always was the bank boomerang. Lady Elaine. She had the boomerang on. I didn't watch Mr. Rogers that much. Well, so, uh, <laughs> now what are you going to tell us about your... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. will, I will. Let me finish this white cloth. Alright, we'll wait. <laughs> well, you guys can keep talking. Those drinks what? Down. Yeah, you like you like the white claw. Uh, only if she's a single white girl. So David, why why don't you ever uh why don't you ever drink? I know yeah. you don't like how some of it tastes, but what about well, like the stuff that tastes good? I don't want to end up like um like uh, uh the guy Freddie Prince from Sheep on the Man. I don't want to end up like a lot of these stars who take too much to her booze. Now, I don't That's want to respectable. Get off. Yeah, I want to say I want to stay. I want to stay. Stay cool and stay clean. Mm -hmm. Now Denise Gray is coming over tomorrow. Oh, man. about Denise, Denise Gray. Yeah, I got four texts from Michael Q. Schmidt that I haven't opened yet. He called me today. What's up? And what he said. Me? And he said exactly word for word. If you have any uh, skits, have you, if you have any more skits where I could be naked, let me know. Tell him. Tell him. Yeah. Tell him. Tell him you've already got a girlfriend. You don't play that. Yeah. Tell he's, him getting like off. he's getting off. He's getting off. Tell him you like, tell him you like coke. You like the real thing. You only injure women. You're not prejudiced, but you like you, you like <laughs> you, you got a girlfriend. Yeah. And tell him your girlfriend will kick his balls in now. She, she would. The, your girlfriend looks pretty tough. No, now she's her in an army officer. She's got to say, well, well, you're Ooh, an army officer. No, no dude, she's not. She's, she's sensitive. And well, I just said, if she found out that Michael E. Smith was coming on to you, she, 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 she whoop those, 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 those white potatoes into... And, 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 if you even call them bro. potatoes anymore, those are disgusting. What? Michael Q. Schmidt's fucking dick. He's Come on, that's a, sensitive information. That, he's got a dick that is smaller than a mouse. This is going to get mouse. around. You know, he's got a dick smaller than a mouse. He David's going to show it to Denise, and Denise is going to show Tennessee, and then he's going to show Michael. They're, They're not going to tell each other. But I can tell you some Republicans mm -hmm. that will not be on the show. <laughs> I tried to get Carol Kraft on the show, but she's best friends with... Uh, with uh, Sunshine Lee, and they're strictly <laughs> Republican, and she would not be on the show. I tried to get her on the show. She's related Sh to... Sunshine Lee? Sunshine Lee, she was uh, the the girl that played, um, um, she's a very talented actress, she she played, even though she's a Republican, she played, um, <laughs> what? she played uh, 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 John C. Riley's um, um, uh, um, uh, uh, niece on, uh, on Check It Out with Dr. Steve Brule. And then she played, she was in the shrimp thing. Hmm. Oh, she, Shrimp. Was she the one that screamed Shrimp? Yeah, and she's also the one, she's married to Mr. Lee from this. Her her husband, uh, Lee, is related to the Lee from the South. Lee damn, from the, damn. Lee from the South. The one that was the general that fought with Mike. Oh, Robert E. Lee? Yeah, he fought with Mike. Oh. With Mike. I'm related to President Grant from Ohio. And, and I don't you're, have you're related. You're a descendant of Grant? Yes. Ulysses S. Grant on the $20 yes. bill. I knew that. 50? That was an episode one of I Love David. Well, you never told us about his porn corn. Uh, Chris, <laughs> That's what I thought. Chris, don't, don't be shy fly. I'm us. not going to be shy fly. I'll tell you. But, like, I don't know why. It's probably nothing. I, I like, I like, um, like, forms. Yeah, Which one? you said what? forum. You like, said it was like, it's a, like a form that like what like what this form? first video is, but uh, it's um it's all based on like uh, like humiliation, like girls being fucking like stripped of their pride. Where's this? What house get that? That's not. I, that's, no, I can get into some of that. Yeah, like fucking yeah, being in a humiliating position. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, like rape, like powerless. Wow. Fucking like their image is like gone. Like she oh. lost all her dignity. Oh, that day. Wow, I had to see that porn going. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know that. Wow, 
Oh, so it, yeah, it's like like sexual assault, like porn. Nah, it doesn't have to be sexual assault. Mm-hmm. She's just like t- tied up and like thrown in a corner. So it doesn't have to be shit. violent. Like just like it could be like in a comp- like caught doing something um, like in a, pr- a predicament. A lot of people do that to their wives and their close girlfriends. The so family. like like the husband yelling at like the wife for like dropping something and then and then spanking them like a like uh, their dad. Yeah. If they're like forced in a position where they're going to be compromised and exposed, and they spank them, like, a lot, give they an can example. fall under any of those categories. Give an wow. example. Oh, that's like, heavy metal, like, fucking, heavy porn. Like, locked out of her house, like, no clothes on. That's heavy. That's heavy metal, Shit. heavy porn. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Like yeah, like having to hide from the neighbors. Pictures like, or cartoons? Dude, fucking videos. Like, <laughs> it could be porn. Like people that just make you it. Know, like are real like captures. Like well, shit like that. What do you think about this Asian or like cartoons? or like? There's a lot of porn of it that people like. It's produced. You know, a lot of Asian uh, 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 cartoons uh, do porn. It's really strange. E- what does that stand for? Dude, you just look it up. That it'll tell you everything. What is ENF though? Dude, I, I'm done going into it. Like that was I gave you guys. What you what, no, what does ENF stand for? Dude, you can fucking find out. You know, I just it just dawned on me, Chris. You know, it, it, it just, just dawned on me, Chris. Email. You ought to watch the show so, Rhoda. Embarrassed naked. Yeah, dude, that, 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 that hot. That shit can get hot. You, you, you know, I found the perfect girl for Chris. Oh she, come on! Her name. She was on the Rhoda show. She played Rhoda's sister, and I believe that you and her would hit it off fine. Look up the woman who played Rhoda's sister. On we'll get up to play with the Rhoda's sister, Ryan. And I feel that you and her would hit it off fine. That'd be some good old wine for you. <laughs> what the fuck are you laughing at, dude? I just didn't even realize this is a thing. What? It's good porn, dude. What did you find? It's got me off multiple I times. Some serious shit. Embarrassed naked dude. <laughs> well, you want to be you want to be turned on a girl and be cooked by a girl. Look at a naked girl, man. Uh, that'll cook you up good. <laughs> You ought to try it sometime. Oh, boy. You let me know what you, you think. Uh, uh, Chris, why were you having um, uh, your best friend go on a diet from sex when his girlfriend was coming over? <laughs> a diet from sex? Why? Oh, I'll, tell, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. It's called no fap. And me, me and the boys are doing it on vacation to rejuvenalize our manly selves and get a spiritual... Uh, testosterone boost. Just it's also it's it's mostly spiritual, David, but it also has some hormonal shifts. It really develops. The hormonal brain. shifts. Do they do any sorting? No, there's no touching of dicks of any sort. You, they're the, the most extreme. They say that no fap like I, I'm, clears I'm, your head. It it yes. Well, David, when you when your sperm when your sperm reach a certain age in your balls, they mature, and when the wow. sperm mature. They go back into the bloodstream to die. Wow. All of the nutrition in that it's nut. It's like a kombucha drink. Yes, yes, it's like a kombucha drink. All the nutrition in that nut that was released into the bloodstream scatters throughout the body. Wow. And, 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 and it basically wow. also, it, oh, one of the prime yeah. spots that the sperm likes to die is in the pineal gland, David. Wow. And that's why you feel a lighter head wow. after not doing no fat wow. for the so long. The priest would love that. But the thing is, David, porn is so addictive that you just. Your your brain is very plastic, David. You could basically shape it however you want. Wow. If you do no fap for a few weeks, you could reshape your po- brain not to be addicted to porn. Wow. Just like if you could from porn. Just That's like great. if you could pro- if you can quit like smoking for like 20 days, you could reshape your brain. Wow, I don't the, smoke the, or drink, dopamine. But I like porn corn. Dopamine is what all addictions are based off of. and a lot of people think the dopamine is the pleasure hormone. But it is not. Oh my god, you spent so long trying to no, explain this. Just to two me. minutes, give me two minutes. Dopamine is the hormone that is released in your brain that leads up to the pleasure hormone, which is called something wow. else. Dopamine, so say you go into a gas station and you get like a candy bar or something. Or a cigar. We'll say a cigar. <laughs> and or then you, jewel pods. You sm- yeah, it's jewel pods. You smoke those jewel pods on the way home. And then you're like, when well, you're all out and you're fiending, dopamine is the chemical that is released in your brain that wow. makes you want to retrace the acts that led to the pleasure hormone. Wow. So dopamine is released to tell you to go to the gas station and get the pods. And then when wow. you hit the pod, another thing is released. So dopamine, if you could is like... serotonin? Yeah, yeah. So if you, it, well, it, if you could just tell your brain, like when the dopamine's hitting you, to like just fucking shut the fuck up. You need to ignore the dopamine. 
And then your addiction will go away. It's dopamine. Because dopamine's well, going to keep so leading you to the place to get the pleasure. Those, yeah. those will come back to me again. And it's the, it's the most powerful drug, hormone. That is, <laughs> it is the mo- yeah, dopamine is to, the most powerful. Need, you know, you need, and you, you want to you know. You need to teach porn is, uh, that porn lesson to all the Catholic priests. I will. And pastors. And, 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 and David, I have something more was, interesting. A lot what of people have been raped because So the fact that I'm thinking about getting another beer is dopamine right now. Yes. Because, like, I like how the beer feels. And I'm yeah. saying, dopamine yeah. relates back to when we were cavemen, David. Because wow. when, when we were cavemen, when like we were water. cavemen... Do you feel any like water dripping over here? No, no, there's David, no water. here, I'll tell you. I'll tell you, I'm going to give you a little brief lesson. Then I'll be done for a little while. Back in the... Dopamine is in the humans because back when we were cavemen... It was very hard to survive in those harsh times. I don't so when know a caveman, I used to work at farms and I used to see <laughs> you people, weren't a caveman. <laughs> I used to see people riding yes. cows and, oh, and lambs David, please. and goats. Uh, the, the, guy, the horny guys working. On yes, farms the cavemen though, David. When they caught, they didn't eat for weeks. At sometimes, when they caught a fish and they roasted that over the fire, dopamine is released. To, it's a, it's more of to make you survive. Wow. It's incur- Dopamine is released so you're not a lazy human. You, in, in a way, it yeah. makes you it makes you motivated to want to do something. But, well, but right. when dopamine is focused on negative things, like cigarettes, is bad. But if you focus your dopamine on like doing other things in your life that are positive that lead to better choices, you know. <laughs> if so, yeah. the, the cavemen use dopamine to get fish to like build shelters, to build fires, to survive. But as as things got more refined, like sugar <laughs> and tobacco, now dopamine is shifted in a negative way where people want to get this stuff that's bad for you but releases so much pleasure. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. That, the dopamine, so that makes a lot of sense right about now. Yeah. Yeah, I don't... Uh, you're coming from a guy that doesn't smoke or drink or do drugs, but that's... Out, so I must I mean, have a lot of stuff. I believe that. Yeah. You know, I, I did NoFap, though, and it was I a listen, negligible I difference. I listened to podcasts yeah. about that. I listened to, like, documentaries on dopamine. I get what you're saying, though, because I did feel a clarity. I did feel so, like. So what about when your girlfriend came in? Mm-hmm. And well, I didn't. Is wanna... he asking if you cheated with the girl? Yeah, no, I didn't do that. Be- mostly because, well, two reasons. One, because I was doing the challenge. You didn't. You didn't exclude at all. Actually, two nights. She, oh, she no, didn't, I didn't. No, I didn't do anything. She didn't get any. Uh, two nights, words. I just, I just fingered her. <laughs> but I didn't really do anything good, myself. Yeah. Okay, good. good. I just want to make sure you didn't like. Yeah, no. Did she want to? Did you like tell her? Yeah. Like, oh, you told her? Well, yeah. What did you tell her? Like, I'm in a challenge. <laughs> and she yeah, was just like, okay with that. You better well, be careful. I was still gonna, gonna, well, when voice, she was right? asking me to do it, obviously it's because she wanted be, you, to be you, like you pleasured. Be, mm-hmm. well, so better, I still did better. it. But Okay, I respect that you uh, were able to overcome that. Yeah. So what do you do when you can't get a girl? <laughs> well, I can't. When's the last time you were late? Oh, oh, you, you know what? Girl. Let's talk about when you can't get a girl. Let's talk about Anne. Let's talk about Anne. Is that the last girl you were with? No. Oh, Anne's a story I've been listening about all uh, night. <laughs> you guys are saying how to get a girl, what, and none of y'all have girlfriends. And how old is she? I'm not even sure she's gonna be 19 or 20. Wow, that's the ripe age. <laughs> Man, that's ripe fruit. I, 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 that's, that's really healthy ripe fruit. Did you ever ask her out? Ryan, where's the frost? That was because she's been oh, dating the defrost so button. Oh, that bad guy. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Just so, tell me guys, guy. tell me guys about that. And he now, he only likes way off my shoulders. It was never. Yeah, dude, I don't, I don't think of anything. Less, dude, I watch female porn. You know, you do. Yeah, you know that is pretty good. You know, then you would. <laughs> don't love, say it. You would love her, Drew. Oh, okay, David. <laughs> can I tell you something? Like I'll you. tell you something. I'll tell you something. You would like to uh, host the Swing Sweeps. Oh, no, David. They gotta be like girl. I, yeah, not, they gotta be like looking like a girl. I'm not like, trying to make fun of off, like, I'm not trying to make fun of Dave here, but you said Dave kind of looked like a twink. That's a twink, you know. I mean, <laughs> but you, you know, I did say when you first uh, dude, came in. Dude, how long did you put that in the defroster for? Eight minutes. Why? How many, dude? I don't know. Fix it. I don't know how to cook. Last time what is you, the weight? Last of that? time he cooked. I don't know a pound. Last time you he, a pound. You know, last time he, 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 he last time he put something in the microwave, it was uh, it was uh, 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 it was ice cold, like was it from the North Pole? No, he put it in the <laughs> oven last time. He was putting th- he was warming things up in the oven for five minutes. And it tastes like they were ice cold. Yeah, I don't, ice. I don't know why you're putting in the oven. He put he put uh, the hamburger much like biting on a hot it's like a hamburger uh, uh, um 
uh, uh, ice cream bar. Dude, this is crimp. Hard. This this crimp tray is crimp. Why? It's not open. Yeah, what do you think about the food? This I got got a hard on by being ice cold. What? It just came to me food just like a, just like a guy has a hard on when it's cold. And girls love that popsicle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they do. The chrome dome. You ever heard the term chrome dome? No, what is that? <laughs> If she's got the chrome dome, I got the chrome bone. Oh no, the girls are lesbian. I mean, I'm <laughs> what? Wow. No, David, yeah, you missed the point. Like a, like a blowjob, like dome. Well, like that's why she head. realized that she's licking your popsicle, and she's looking it all up. So that's what I mean. She, she, she really likes. She's, what about bad boys? That girl wants to know that. Wants to know no, that. No, he's popsicle. asking. It's like if you got like <coughs> the prime head, I got the prime dick. That's like what he's saying. You mean it's how it's how guys and girls talk to each other nowadays. If you got I the never chrome, heard of that. Explain that if you got the chrome you. dome, I got the chrome That's bone. That's what I mean. Oh, you mean the girls got the 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 the, 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 the vagina and the guys? No, got no, the, no, the girls got the good blowjob. Like, good blow, good like, like the girls got the ability to give a good blowjob. Oh wow! If, and I got the good dick to give it to. Oh wow! And then man. there's baboon has to. Yeah. Well, she's, uh, well, well, he's digging for gold. He's dick. She's digging for dick. Is that what it means? Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> In a nutshell. Yeah. This is gonna be a good broadcast. A lot of people gonna be watching this. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I sure hope. <won't. laughs> you yeah. got put on blast, Chris. Fucking E N F, dude. Dude, I learned a new type yeah, of oh, porn. Oh yeah, me too. Yeah. I've never seen this. Dude, show. I was looking it up. I can. I can. I try to understand fetishes sometimes, even though if they're not my fetishes, fetish? yeah. I I, I, and then like I, I could see where he's coming from. There was like there was like a sex shop here that I bought a bunch of shit from. Oh wow! Did your girlfriend see that? I told her what I got, and they're sitting in my trunk right now. And what'd she say? She likes it too. Whoa! Oh my God! I just share it with her. Are you um dominant or submissive? I'm dominant, but it's been a, it's been a drought, like a California drought. I haven't had any pussy. And, since 1994, like my song I wrote, I've had no sex since 1994. Yeah. And you heard it. It was a good song. It's, it's, a, it's a bit, it's been a long route. Brian's story. story tasted delicious. Where's the white wine? Freezer. I so bet you wouldn't you, consider, like... Did you just put it in? You're just being in the same Earlier today. That means it's ice cold. Huh? Being yes. submissive. I would love to be submissive if I could find a girl that would say yes. Like with whips and chains and, uh, and get uh, away. Oh, wow. <laughs> would you be, man? Dude, would you be taken over a, by a dominatrix? I had a, I had a, I, had a, I, had a, I went to Catholic school, even though I was a Christian scientist. To do so, were you fantasizing and shit about that? Uh, uh kind of. The wine. Yeah. I used to be married, and my wife, Bridget, used to like to whoop me before she gave me, uh, let me have sex with her. She used to take out the whoop and whoop me really Sounds bad. like you were just submissive. Like <laughs> yeah. You, you were dominant at all. You were letting her take control of you. Well, yeah, she would thank me on the bed, and then she says, now, now, um, um, mom's going to take good care of you. Now if you're a good boy. You can get some good, some, 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 some good, some good, some good, um, a, a nice, a nice, um, a, a tasty vagina, but you've got to <laughs> be a good boy. I mean, what the shit out of you? David, man. I'm sad I've been a bad example. And no, so, you're not even a bad example. And Sylvester says, I've been a bad buddy guy. You were just being honest, man. That smile's a classic smile. I've seen him well, plenty of Tim and Eric skits. Well, you know the not salad. Nice. It, it looks like the salad's got a heart on you, but like, like you gotta have a heart on a girl. And you make it like you, so. That's why you like to make things cold. Think about me having a heart on. <laughs> yeah, like things are stiff when they're frozen. You gotta be loosened off by by, by some more. Yeah, hard ons are fucking hot. Cause yeah, all the blood pump not, they're not like frozen. Hard on, it's not like a frozen dick. It's like a hot, it's like a It's pack. like a hot, like, a like hot throbbing. You're packing. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Like yeah. it's like the blood. You know, I want to let you know, uh, I wrote this poem, I wrote this comedy for Tim and Eric and they used it. I said, um, you know, the most sexy thing you can see in your lawn is a mushroom. It reminds you of a penis. Mushroom dick. <laughs> you look at dicks, uh, mushrooms are so much like dicks. Uh, man, they know how to... Uh-uh, umbrella that, that pussy real well. Umbrella? <laughs> yeah, like umbrella the, 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 the dicks. The dicks are, the penises and dicks have a lot in common. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> I'd I say so. <laughs>
And when it rains, that means they're Why? getting oral. <laughs> that day was horrible? They're getting oral. Oh. Like a girl's yeah, yeah. My mouth over the penis. Got the chrome dome. The chrome dome. That's the chrome dome. And that's the chrome dome. Are you going to remember that phrase? Chrome dome. I learned something new. David, I tell you what. 64. If you, if you use that, you might get some chrome dome. Use that. Chrome dome is a blowjob. Chrome dome. Yeah. I learned something new. Chrome dome. Like just go up to some chick on the street and just feel like you got the chrome dome, I got the chrome bone. Oh, I got the chrome. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I learned something new. Yeah, you, you, you tell someone uh, from old school something new. I got the chrome dome and you, she's got the... Um, no, she's got, she's got the chrome dome. Just say with me. I got the chrome. You, if you got the chrome dome, I got the prone bone. I got the chrome bone. I got the chrome bone. No, dome. prone bone. Oh, oh, prone bone. bone. Oh, the trombone. You know what I'm saying? If you got the here, say with me. If you got if you got the chrome dome, I got the prone bone. If you got the chrome dome, I got the chrome bone. I got it right. So maybe I can get laid there. The, the chrome bone? Eight and ten, eight and ten times we'll get laid. Thank you. Down Thank the street. You. Chrome Thank bone? Go, I learned go something by the new. fucking pool. Let, I fucking learned something new now. Can, now. You say pro, can you say prone bone? Chrome bone. I got the chrome bone. <laughs> and she's got the, the chrome. Chrome bone sounds even like Terminator or something. Wow. I guess like RoboCop, baby. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Guys you got the prone, the prone dome. I got the chrome, chrome bone. <laughs> the chrome bone. bone. Wait, what's the other one then? The prone dome. The prone dome. <laughs> okay, thank you. I learned something new. So when was the last time? Yeah, I know you're, you're this pretty boy over here. You just before and love it, dude. I can see you with a beautiful, young, slender, white girl. I've been saying that. Just, just lie that. and say that you're a tweet. <laughs> Why would I do that? Well, you just tell her, I just, I'm just, tell, well, I can say you're gay. And, <laughs> Wait, what? And, and that you're a tweet. And you, and you say, I just want to be your friend and go out with you that you're a prune. And then when you get to know her and you've dated her for a, a couple of times, just tell her, I, I, I tell her, I want to see what it's like to be with a woman. And then... <laughs> Then you got the whole thing. You got the, <laughs> you got the whole package. <laughs> you become her gay friend. Slide right in. And then you no. slide in. <laughs> then you slide you're, in. You no. become a, you, you're gay. You're her gay friend, and then you become questioning. And oh. then she lets you do it with her. That would yeah. be hot as fuck. Yeah, that's not a bad strategy. You, you should, yeah. yeah, I mean, like I've never done gay. anything with yo. a girl. Oh, yeah, I'm, yeah. yo. Yeah. What if you? I have, I have a real scenario, <laughs> dude. David just gave some yeah, pretty good advice. Yeah, actually. <laughs> Yo, what if you were gay? You went to FedEx, gay. You'd have to take a lot of slack from the dude. Doing that fucking but like, you became <laughs> yeah. Anne's like best friend or something, like gay or friend, sister. and then you become like bi, and you're like, oh, Anne, I've been thinking, like, yeah, the lay like, the seed, <laughs> thinking oh. about trying like. I'm thinking about transition. I'm thinking about trying like having sex with girls, but I don't know how it is. Oh I yeah, they, I don't know what they dude. like. You're, you're, you're I don't know what she, they like. She teach you. Great, great it's too late in my life. Like I don't know how to please like women my age. Man, you 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 you'd be tearing up. And it would be still like <laughs> you'd be tearing up girl after girl. <laughs> Are you saying David would have the easiest time I mean, doing that? I can't understand why John Ritter never had sex with all those beautiful white what? women he was on. I don't <laughs> No, I asked if you were, if Dave right here would have the best shot at pretending he was gay. <laughs> and you, you just tell her you want to be her friend. And you just, you tell her you're gay, lie to her. And lie to her, her, the first and step. And then you just go, to, go out with her. Lie to her. And this girl that works at FedEx, and then after you've gotten to know her, you say, you know, I'm, 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 I am, uh, I am uh, heterosexual curious. They say bi curious. I'm heterosexual curious. I want to see what it's like to kiss a girl. Then you get in there, oh. and then you say, "I want to see what it's like to fuck." A Keep girl. advancing, like make out with a girl. Yeah. I know it's like the whole. So like deceive, this. deceive her until you get sex. Yes, I bet you could do it. Cardinal rule of one. You got the bunch of funny twist. Like we slowly, like, bit, like yeah. I want to make out with you. Like I want to touch your titty. I want to fucking fuck you, dude. 
and then and then and then, and then, and then, and then, and then you then you then you then you got in and then and then and then, and then the issue, there were boys I think friends. what David's trying to say is like you fit the aesthetic, I guess. You fit the, the gay <laughs> friend who becomes bi. <laughs> I don't know. That's and what David's saying, and I mean, and then you say that, that the woman's uh, being a woman's so good. I don't want to be gay anymore. Yo, yeah, yeah. I think that's how you stay there. The switcheroo. <laughs> the switcheroo. You're like that was that good. <laughs> that I don't want to go back to go- guys yeah. anymore. Do you see, you like that vagina, <laughs> that nice, those nice pyramids. Pyramids. Big old titties. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I love women that have big tits. Of course, it's big guy. Are you a tit man or an ass man, Dave? I like. Wh- I like Honestly, I'm more of a B. I'm more of a B. I, 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 I'm medium. I like big tits and I like big ass. So I'm medium. Oh, okay. Guy. You're on a. Pl- you're you're have a gun to your head, and right. you have to either pick. Every girl has big tits or every girl has big ass. What one do you pick? I like that huge pussy and I've used it. Well, it's not a choice. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a choice. Big tits or big ass. I'd go for the ass. Okay, he's an ass man. Everyone's an ass man. I'm a boob man, dude. What? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Dude, in today's age. Yeah. In well, everyone's today- an ass man. Yeah, everyone's an ass man. I think it's for myself. Ryan, dude. I never look at tits. Dude. I, I'm always oh, looking at the no, ass. Dude, I'm always the ass is you know, always... You know, See, I didn't think anybody was an ass get, man until I started talking on her to people. You're kind of ass man all the way. Ass? Get yeah, people have their preference. I like get, both, but... Get a woman ass. on her period. Yeah. Everybody has I their mean, preference. I no, he's trying to say, like... Get a woman on her period. Yeah, like, everyone's an ass. Man. All the girls work their asses out and shit. No. Yeah. I, I, like, I still like Fucking, big tits more, though. Like, like, that's, like, my thing. Dude, everyone had tiny asses and huge tits. And shit like that. I like... Dude, I like... Well, I like bigger tits, man. That's what I noticed first. Well, you said, is that thought enough? Yeah. Wow, this is an interesting conversation. You just have like a disadvantage with all the women with huge asses and shit. I guess so. I I guess the tits don't have to be huge per se. Well, you know what, but I, I prefer was, looking at the well, tits. You know, I guess really no I matter what be, size, unless they're not flat. To, um, used, then the ass. Well, yeah. I'll tell you. When I used to be married, I could do a girl with no tits and a huge ass. You know, uh, see, I can't. Well, actually, no. I can't. When I used to be married, oh, 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 and the wife didn't want to be fucked. She used to let me put the penis between her big tits. Mike's wife uh, has big tits. See, I like that shit. I like tits fucking. All right, guys, how's it going to work? Let's, uh, let's uh, address the podcast now. We are ha- now having some shrimp and white wine. David, would you like a sip of wine? No, just a shrimp. Oh, oh you, you're you not going to do Beaver Boys? Uh, nah. But David, it's one sip. One sip's not going to get you drunk. Nah. Uh, oh. No. <laughs> Come and Eric, eat your heart out. You should have hired me at morning. Wait, are you... Are you David, are you eating the whole shrimp? I was like, aren't you supposed to not eat the whole shrimp? You're dipping the tail in. (laughs) I'm sorry. You like the whole shrimp? I mean. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. If you like eating the whole thing, you can eat the whole (laughs) thing. Go ahead. I I I never met anyone. I'm going to go on either, though. All right. Shrimp is great in omelets. Yeah, shrimp is one of. I love seafood. I do too. Me and Chris have been developing dances for well, the Why don't you take me to a, a seafood restaurant? Well, I like seafood. I hope you're not going to be too drunk that I have to take the bus home. Hmm? I didn't bring my bus pass with You didn't me. drink it all, David. Oh, no. Right? You, you, you're all doing the driving. Oh, no. David, I have only been drinking. Ryan had one beer. Yeah. You don't, don't drink, drink, you won't get a chance driving home. No, this is only, this is my first one. Okay, but I, could you drink? They're gonna, you have a driver's license? I do. Okay, you're gonna have to drive me home then. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get in a heap Who of is? trouble. Your friend Dave, David. Oh, <laughs> David is drunk. No, no you're drunk. Drive this is my home. first. I'm not. Okay. Because I test people. You it's know, three beers is usually one. Of, three or four beers is yeah. usually one. Things get more. Okay, well, this gave, 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 gave a limit. You said you gotta have self control from sex. To have self control from drinking so much. Oh, oh that <laughs> it is. <laughs> You're right. You're actually <laughs> right. I remember I wanted you all to drive me somewhere, and you all said you were all drunk and you couldn't drive me home on the Fourth of July. Where did you say that? Before the Fourth of July, you even check me with you. Dude, take your foot. Dude, that you feel drunk. Come on. I'm not going anywhere. Well, now, who's going to drive me home since you're not going anywhere? <laughs> I'm not going anywhere now. You're not drinking now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need a ride home to the Dixborough. Yes. He's not doing anything. He can drive. Oh, seriously? 
Do you see him doing anything? Yeah, but please, I need someone to drive me. I'll do this. He's right there. Him. He's going to drive your car? Yeah. Seriously? <laughs> yes. But he's 19. He has his license. Okay, okay. Well, well he's going to drive me home. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, because you're not going to stay here. No, we'll, I'll, we'll still go with you, but he's going to drive. Okay, okay. Well, don't, don't, don't saute the beer too much. You saute the Saute, the David. We're drinking it. <laughs> and then, yeah. when, when you're drinking, you're sautéing your, your mind, your lungs, and your brain. <laughs> Ooh, I'm smoking. <laughs> You've had some of the deepest comments I've heard all in yeah. my life. I'm old, like I'm like old wine. I know what's going on. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. I'm like old wine. Yo, it was like two clothes. We're kind of let me get let me get that jewel, bro. See, let's Dude, I bought it, it for Chris, you. Chris, I bought Chris it for is, you. Chris is addicted on the so nicotine. What? I no, you. I'm not. I I have hit a. I have two. I don't. Hits. I don't. I don't. Let me stay two minutes, dude. I'll give you. I don't smoke. At the end of this trip, I'll, your I'll, I'll pay you for how much I... I'll okay, give you like a five. Fine. Chris? You yeah. About. Yeah, he smokes. Okay. You got the French Sinatra and like, you have blonde strength. Why not just get your own? Well, thank you. <laughs> you could be chilling here hitting the shit all night, bro. <laughs> you're trying to get me back in. I don't want to be back in. That's well, like, you're fucking asking for hits. <laughs> yeah. Because I want... Dude, because this is... Whoa. You want to be a Catholic priest? And then you want to... And then you want to... Yo, buddy. Take one of the two. Take a hit. I'm gonna cough on you. Take a big hit. Wait, Ryan. Do I have to Ryan. press anything? No, you just don't. No, no, no. no. Here, I need another hit after that. Don't take it. Here, I'll show you. Ryan. Take Why do you need someone so quick? And I'll show you the back. Right, yeah. You with that. I'll hit it. He, I can't take a big hit. Hit it for like five seconds. It, Ryan, come on. Yo, he, it's so bad. Dude, inhale when you hit. Like, it's taking a hit. Yeah, one more. No, don't get him drinking. Oh, he's not drinking. Now get him smoking. You get him get a good ass <laughs> Yo, wait, wait, one I'm more, one more. Just one more hit. You will not you have, after you smoke, Yo, you won't be able One more hit. I take him out after every hit. Yo, here, one more hit, one more hit. You? Yeah, one more hit. Ryan, you gotta take one more. I feel incredible. <laughs> This is no, like swish. This is like I smoke three swishers in a row. One hand of this. Yeah, you German. German. How much? What is the nick on that? Fifty. So when they want to smoke something, first set. That's crazy, dude. Dude, it's like <sighs> yeah, no, yes, ready right now. Bro. Here, I'm gonna do one more. I want you to replicate it. Man, you are a bad influence on these kids. Getting them to smoke. It's mine. <laughs> 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 one more, dude. What? Oh, wait, wait, stop. Boy, you want everybody self-control like, sex, but you're really fucking that, that cigarette good. <laughs> Ryan, I, That's I, how I feel. David, I, John, I might get one of these for FedEx. Yeah, you're you right. and that Muslim guy across the street, that, 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 that I, I live across the street from him. You're right, I can't, I can't. Yes, you could. You smoke don't do it, really don't wrong. do it, you're going to oh, that your taste buds out. Oh, that ruins your taste buds? Yeah, it will. Uh, it will. It it's supposed to be like one to three. three it ruins your taste buds out. And Ryan. Come on, dude. What is this? You're no. a baby. I, yeah, I can't inhale a lot. For three seconds. It's going to make you sick. Don't do it, Ryan. If you cough, whatever. <laughs> we do it for me. Don't, don't do okay, it. Okay, he stopped. I can't take nine a big hit. Nine inch German. Do you feel that? Say nine. Well, no, yeah. <laughs> In your head, like electricity. <laughs> now, you're trying to help him to have, not, have self-control from... from I'm... David. And, that, and you want him to be fucking cigarettes good. <laughs> oh, David. So with, no, that, with, with no fapping, you gotta go for like two weeks before you start to Well, you're form. really getting him to fuck those cigarettes. He's gonna be, he's Tomorrow, he's, addicted, he's, he's, gonna gonna be, he's gonna be fucking cigarettes instead of fucking his girlfriend. My oh, God. David, tomorrow morning I'm gonna wake up and do 20 push ups. Uh, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna get addicted to nicotine. Yeah, I've that's, had that's cigars. That's what Robin Williams told me when he's smoking <laughs> I've had cigars. Okay. I've had cigarettes. I've tried these. Personally, nicotine, it affects everybody differently. For me, <laughs> yeah, that's what Robin was. Williams yeah. said. For me, for and me, he, he did it off. Ricotta's gonna be dying of lung cancer, age fifty, well, dude. dude. Nicotine affects everybody differently. For me personally, no, it's okay. better. We gotta stop. I don't, I don't necessarily dude, like. Ricotta. I don't necessarily <laughs> like <laughs> nicotine. Well, that's, that's what, what if Ricotta right now? Sure you know those like tr- those truth ads with the cigarettes, mm-hmm. where they like destroy their jewels. You should like dump that in a bottle of beer right now or something. Why would I do that? To quit. To quit. <laughs> I personally don't like nicotine. Yeah, I, yes, yeah. I, I don't give a fuck, dude. <laughs> Makes you sick. I like it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. I freaking puked on it when I had it. Yeah, I puked when I did chewing tobacco once. Oh, I never do that. That's fucked. That was, dude, that, I got fucking 
sick as balls. Yeah, one of the first times I had a cigarette, I was like really sick. When I quit vaping the first time, I remember waking up in the morning and there was a vape in my hand and I knew I had to change. I got the... Yo, <laughs> yo, yeah. I thought like your show's going to be better than the Tim and Eric But show. I went... To, Thank you, David. My mom, I appreciate My mom that. was like, you got to stop. I'm like, I know, I know. So she took me to the store to get nicotine patches. She started me off on the strong ones. And I put one of those on my arm and I threw the box away that day. Because of how powerful it made me nauseous. That yeah, power. that's how those gums. You are. know what the gum you, is. I was sick you know, the whole day. I almost you, threw up. I you, threw you, that. I threw the box out and just quit. You know what you you know what it's like crazy buttermilk. Have you had buttermilk before? Yeah. I'm having an ugly girl dating an ugly girl is like drinking buttermilk. I like buttermilk. Take, what? And then I'll tell buttermilk you buttermilk is sweet. And I'll tell you something else which is bad. Is goat cheese. David, you don't like buttermilk pancakes? And goat cheese. Those are delicious. They're, well, you can have those girls. They're ugly to me. Buttermilk pa- David, you just insulted buttermilk pancakes. And what about buttermilk chicken? Oh, wait. Th- David, I'm going to put an image in your head. Don't you like buttermilk Ready? chicken? A pa- imagine a, this is the plate right here. And there's a stack of buttermilk pancakes in front of you this high in like blueberry syrup. And Aunt Jemima right next to and it. Like, and like butter... And so Aunt Jemima, like and Canadian. then if you finish that for dinner later on, you have a feast of KFC's buttermilk chicken. Oh! I, I didn't know they didn't make buttermilk chicken down there. David, you, you like pancakes, right? Yeah. I then you like buttermilk. Uh, oh! Yeah, do we, do we fool you? Well, as long as she's a pretty girl. Looks like water's <laughs> dripping from here. Couldn't that over here? There's no, no, there's nothing step, dripping, you, David. Step right. over here and you can feel drip. Mind. I swear to God. <laughs> Right here, right here, right here. This is sure something. I swear to God. This is the first time. I don't see anything. Well, I felt some drips. That's weird. David, this is Ryan. Remember? Wouldn't it be showing like a water thing? I just felt some drips over here. Just sit over here. Remember? I can't believe I had to remind him. It stopped. What? <laughs> it looks like all of the... the, 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 the David, I don't know. That guy, that guy was talking about the plumbing issues, bro. <laughs> Yo, oh, shh! You can't bring that up right now. He was talking about, like, his toilet wasn't flushing. Well, oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> and you mentioned the fucking garage, dude. It smelled? Oh, it's no! Just going through the building, dude! No, like, it's rotting. The system's rotting. In all equities, they haven't done it in 30 years or something. Are you suggest? Would that be suggesting that, like, that was, like, poop water? <laughs> yes, it would be. <laughs> <laughs> so I got gay poop on me. So. <laughs> now I need to get some more hand ties. Yo, oh, no. you said that was your gay neighbor. <laughs> 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 he has gay poop on him. Damn, damn. And the phone example, he lives above you? Oh no! Gay poop. And this is West Hollywood. Imagine Network. having gay this poop is, drip on you. This is, this is, this is, and this is West, and this is West Hollywood. Not only was it fucking shit, but it was fucking homosexual shit too. Damn. Damn, damn is right. Now you got, you got. I, I'm trying to get a girlfriend. You're getting get, and, and another drop came on me. <laughs> I don't, oh, think, I don't think anything's drop. dripping. I didn't see. I smelled it dripping. I was dripping. Brian, shit. you got to cool on the boom. What did it rain? Stop. It was like it's oh, raining. No, like it, it, I felt a drip. I swear to God. Ricotta. What? I swear to God. You, you, you we get too drunk. That gay guy may come in and want to have sex with all of you. <laughs> <laughs> I think it can handle myself. And Ricotta will be like. I don't know. Yeah, with me? He says, I want to teach Ricotta, you. Yo, you'd say that, but like, yo, that would, you, Ricotta, that would be the actual response to that yeah. situation. Yeah, if the gay guy Yeah, was you'd be like this. You'd, you'd be like, right? Say. Yeah, why did Ryan Bo do that? <laughs> Ricotta, if he came in and asked you for sex, you'd be like, yeah. with me? <laughs> like, what, yeah. like, what the fuck? I feel dripping. <laughs> like, I feel dripping, he, I swear he, to God. He I butchered it. He butchered it with the girl. With me? Look at the fuck you talking about with me. It, it's no, it's dripping. I swear to God. Yeah, you. It's David, dripping. there's nothing That's you. I Dude, felt Connor, dripping from here. I swear to God. Are you sure it wasn't with just the, the fire the in the background? Guy. No, I felt water <laughs> coming down. I'm getting baptized by piss from gay piss. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there's a rock I'm band. Getting I'm getting baptized, baptized by, by piss. piss. 
Dude, that's like a, that's like a metal band. Baptized in Gay Piss. It's like an album name or something. Baptized in Gay Piss. If I become a musician, David, my first album's gonna baptized be named Baptized in Gay, gay Piss. Piss. That's a good idea. That's a good song to write. I'm gonna, we have to make that. Won't oh, David. Gonna, here, wait. Oh, David, wait, 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 wait. On the spot, sing, sing a song, Baptized in Gay Piss, right now. Okay, okay. Sure. Just sing Where's it. Alright, shh. I got baptized in gay piss, baptized in gay piss. I got baptized by gay piss. The neighbor said his plumbing was bad. He said he didn't have a dad. Then I felt water dripping on me. Cause he said the plumbing is bad air, you see. I got Baptized and gay piss, baptized and gay piss, baptized and gay piss. The neighbor said he was gay. He said he wanted us anyway. He said he wanted me anyway. By many guys instead of a babe. Yo, I got baptized and gay piss, baptized and gay piss, baptized and gay piss. With that Millennium Equity, yeah. it was like the song like totally shit. Millennium Equity. <laughs> oh my, <laughs> Millennium Equity. Yeah, it was like the fucking hook, dude. <laughs> and what, what did it end with again? What was the last line, dude? What was the, the plumbing doesn't work. The plumbing work. doesn't plumbing work. Doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> That was a really good one, David. That was a good song, yeah, man. Okay, thank you. I make up songs. Right you out, come right up with them right on the, the spot. Dome? Yeah, yeah you get them. He just like right out of the Chrome Dome. He can do. He does punk. He does like punk, hard country, 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 rock. And, country and western. Right. Uh, the, the His hard western. rock songs are crazy. Ricotta would love those. You, you, I wrote a song. Played the album called Monsters. I wrote about all the people that gave me shit in my life. Oh shit! <laughs> uh, Yo, yeah, they're, they're, they're deep. deep. It's al- the album I did was Adam Pop again. I want oh, to hear the, Baptized in Gay Piss. Okay, well, well that's yeah, that a good song. Okay, yeah, that's gotta good be on the next show. Yo, play, they, play one of his heartfelt, like, Baptized in Gay Piss. <laughs> <Baptized> <laughs> oh. in so, gay. you're gonna give him the keys to drive me home, uh, David, and then you're gonna give me, uh, mm-hmm. can, can you give him money to buy me a sandwich? Yeah. Like that, guys, guys, yeah. I knew this was gonna happen. You're gonna get drunk and high, and then you can't drive me home. David, we've never done this. Ah, uh, you. You did it on the 4th of July, you said you couldn't drive me home because you were, I mean, you, I wasn't at your place. You said you were going to bring me food on the 4th of July. I'm like, I didn't have anything on the 4th of July. No, 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 I might go get the grab that one. He's gone. Yeah. Someone left their phone you over really here. Yeah, stuff. that's fine. Freaking out, too. So fine. You got a good Apple phone like Thank I you. do. You want to come over and look at some porn? I got some good porn and make it happen. David, want to go over? Want to go over his place and look at some porn? Probably not today. <laughs> okay, well, thanks for driving me home and taking me yeah. to get, get a sandwich. Can we hurry up and get this get, get this all done? Because I, I need to get home. I haven't done my laundry in two months, and I'm supposed to go away, and I don't have to. Can we get this over with so we can get the show on the road? I don't like it. Uh, well, if I see you again, bring your phone. So okay, good. Why don't you come over? I'm, 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 are you gonna, how long are you going to be here? Uh, only a week. Well, you can come over uh, mon- uh, Monday, or, or uh, I, got a, I got a dental appointment Monday, Monday afternoon. Hey, why don't you come both come over Monday? Uh, bring them over Monday so they can he can get add this other stuff to the We're gonna be in Oregon. Yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah. Well, when are you coming back? Are they coming back with you? Yeah, yeah we're all going to Oregon. Oh, were well, you coming back? When are they coming back, Morgan? Uh, Tuesday. Yeah. Huh? We're talking about women that are pussy whipped. That's they, from when I my days they called it pee whipped. In my days, old school, but now they call it uh, pussy whipped. Yeah. It's sad when. When guys can't think for themselves, their girlfriends or their or their uh, or their wives tell them what to do, and they can't do what they want. They say, I, you know, "You're supposed to be the man of the house. Why are you letting a girl pussy whoop you, telling you what to do?" Like Jackie Gleason would say, "I am the man of the house, not the woman. I am the one who pays the bills. I'm the man." And guys today are pussy whooped, and I have to say it to my favorite friend James Wall. I do anything my wife. Susan Yurk, you tells me to do anything. I mean, Susan Yurk, you. I take out the garbage for her. I even do her laundry because she's a woman and she's my wife. 
I'm James Quall. I'm pussy whipped. I am. <laughs> so I, I, you know, I like Ryan. He's a sweet, wonderful guy. But he's pee whipped. He's pussy whipped. <laughs> I, wanted, I wanted him to because I didn't want to take my girlfriend and brother to church with you. I, I, you I have to do. I have to tell what my girlfriend wants to do. I mean, you have to tell David, her I'm sorry. Friend. I'm sorry, David, but well, I, you know, we I didn't want to go to church with you. <laughs> but but yeah, he went to, but you didn't go. Yeah, I, yeah, I went to Trinity. You it wasn't. It wasn't Ryan, her. Did you want to go? No. Look, <laughs> it's closed. Yeah, but you tell me I don't want to go because my wife, does, my girl. Oh, no, I said he's I will ask her. He's that's pussy whipped. Don't even. You told me that. That's pussy whipped. Defend, defend me. All right, all right. Seriously, I know that his brother and girlfriend probably didn't want to go, David. But like, that's pussy whipped. I'm it's saying no, like, I didn't want to go either. So well, I agreed with that. I think it, I think Ryan has the capability to tell his girlfriend what's good. If he no, to. he told me after see. He told me over the phone if my girlfriend wants to go. I want to go. Okay, there's no, one. I didn't say David, that. You did. No, David, David, David. Honestly, spiritual power. Right. I'll be honest. I don't agree with you there, David, but I mean, there has been times when we've been trying to go out to a restaurant. and That's annoying, yes. When, she, did, doesn't know, when she doesn't know what she wants to eat. Cause well, 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 and Ryan well, doesn't just put the foot down. She always says no. Well, you know what? I'd rather have her eat something. Because I'll, I'll eat anything. So I'm not. I'll just go well, wherever. You got her. She, she's got you spoiled and toiled. Cool. Man, that's pussy. So what, then you David. Just order something? What's that? What's going on with the restaurant thing? Like, she's very, she's pretty, she's picky, so there's restaurants she doesn't want to go to. She he only goes to the restaurant his girlfriend wants to go. to. David, if you're gonna keep talking to me like this, uh-huh. I I I said I'd like you like the brother I never had. Okay, but yes. still, you yeah, have, no, 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 you no, have to make decisions based on your girlfriend. I know, I have one. Well, just check it as a broadcasting. I'm it's telling you, acting, it's check it as I'm a telling you to keep the girlfriend. You have to make some decisions based on what she wants. <laughs> well, okay, you think you say. <laughs> but it's still pussy whip. <laughs> Damn near. You know what? Maybe you have to be a little bit to have a long-lasting relationship. Well, oh. you, pretty soon she'll be telling you where to sleep and where to live. Maybe she, I, I hope it's I, with I, me. I, 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 Ryan, I don't want you to be an actor or producer. Well, no. Oh, that, no. That, oh. The actor or producer part comes before. I, I, That's, women can do that. Well, they, she told me she didn't want me to go to California. I told her I was... I'm gonna go. Well, that time you weren't pussy whipped. <laughs> well, well, you have priorities. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's about it. That time. Well, anyway, I like. But then again, I, I will... like the son I never had, oh. and I wish you the best, and I want you to be happy. But I wish I had that support at church Me too, and that support at Fort Worth. Honesty is spiritual power. I just want to let you know how I feel. Chris, did you want to go to church with them? Yeah. David, I'm like the nephew you never had. Yeah. I know the church is boring, but I needed some support. I, I know. Oh, dear, the, the one thing that turned me off David. now was church, I'll tell him. The one thing that turned me off in that Christian Science Church was that priest. He was a little nutcase. He's yeah. a kind of nutcase. No, that's the He's I, like Elma Fudd. He that's the reason, crazy. Hey, David. I didn't want to go to church with you, not because I want to go anywhere with you, but I don't want to go to that church with you because of the priest. <laughs> He's like Elma Fudd. He always yeah. Does well, what Chris has told me about the priest makes me not want to go. We still should go and we should <laughs> just to support me. You know, I need you yeah. to support. I still feel water dripping here. It's like a curse, and you don't feel anything. I don't feel anything. No <laughs> this water. This is weird. <laughs> Maybe it's haunting me from my apartment that I live. Probably. In. What you, did, you, did you ever have a girl? That just wanted to be your friend. She's beautiful and attractive. Oh, and she didn't want to have sex with you. But David, David, now that you're a toddler, let me know. You is know, every is every girl that doesn't want to have sex no, 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 with you no, 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 a no, 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 Yes. But what if she wants to have sex with you? Equal. Did you ever have that problem happen? Yeah. Isn't it horrible? Yeah. An older, beautiful woman that is a knockout. I mean, let him speak, Brother Bertano. Yeah, let him let, 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 He has experience. Well, I'm going to tell you, it happened to me left and right. I had school teachers. But don't you think you're having sex with other people? They don't believe in sex. They, they're fruits. They say that that's improper and immoral. And they, you know when girls do that sometimes? They say they don't have sex with anybody, but what they're really trying to say is that they're, they, they don't want to have sex with you. Well, it's an insult. I had yeah, actresses. Yeah. I had actresses. <laughs> I went to UCLA with this beautiful white brunette woman named Becky. She was a Christian scientist like me. She's beautiful. Ooh, she was hot. But don't even look. 
she would take me to eat at the best restaurants, and she wouldn't. She said that you're like my my doll, my favorite doll that I like to set up and dress, but I don't want to have sex with you. Then I had an experience. You tell me the experience you've had, and I'll tell you. Okay. Uh, uh, tell me the, the proof that you have. We're kind of as long stories about this. Go, go ahead, tell me. Just because she didn't have sex with you doesn't mean she's not. No, 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 You got a girlfriend. You got, you got, you got all the, yeah, all the Yeah, Leprechaun, tell his experience. No, leprechaun, tell his His are interesting as fuck. Uh, well, yeah, no, I agree with Ryan. I don't think, like, that makes him a proof, though. But tell him about the story you have with a proof, like, a proof that wouldn't, like, fuck you. But like she should have fucked. She's not a prude though. That's what he's saying. Oh, I know. Yeah. But just tell about a girl that a girl that liked you just didn't want to get intimate with you. Oh, a girl that liked me didn't want to get intimate. Yeah. But she only wanted to go out with you and be your friend. Like like you as a friend. Oh shit. Yeah. Few of those. What are you doing, dude? What are you doing. Tell him. I got um, personal today. All right. There was a girl in my art class when I was like in tenth grade, and. Um, she was like dating this dude that that was like an asshole, and only wanted her for sex and shit, you know. And I got like friend zone pretty much. And then she broke up with him. He broke up with her. And then she she started like we started hanging out like regularly. Went to her house. Um, did a bunch of stupid bullshit for her, thinking out it was going places, and then uh, decided to ask her out. On, uh, well, she knew I liked her for a while, but decided to ask her out like around Valentine's Day. She told you no. Did she seen me as a friend, yeah. Uh, uh, you, you, got, well, you have experience, Dave, for the date speech. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I can't remember one. Oh, come on! You got you remember as a cute guy. You you probably got all girls running after you. No, I'm that's saying. Really. That's Just I'm tell saying. me. That's what I would think, man. Tell me, did anybody, girl, a woman liked you but didn't want to have sex with you? I mean, <laughs> and just wanted to be your friend. It's a prude. He told me about the time he refused to blow. No, a prude is someone. Tell me that. Tell me that. Tell me that. Tell us about that time. Tell me that. It's not a prude. Uh, I was I was, I was drunk at my cousin's wedding, and something. I was sitting around with all my little cousins, my girlfriends and shit. And we were talking, and then one of them said that she'd give me a blowjob right now in the bathroom. Wow. And I said, wait. What? I was just now you're I being was, the prude. I was Mr. thrown prude. away. Oh, <laughs> yeah. thrown Mr. Away prude. Does that confirm that he should be? Okay, doing yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Prude. Too. So what else? And anything else in that? Tell so you could have got a blow yeah. Dude, so David is a male prude. A male prude. Ooh! <laughs> uh, David! Those are, I'll Those are far and between. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you an experience I had. And my cousin, Linda Hamilton, um, she, was my, she was from Chicago Heights, and she played Red Fox's um, um, uh, girlfriend on Sanford and Son as a nurse. She also played Bertie on, on the Waltons. And my mother wanted her to help me get on television. So she, I met her at Warner Brothers. She took me to the uh, Walton set, and this woman, um, she had a uh, she had a little gray in her hair, but she looked very beautiful. She was an older woman, and uh, uh, she had an unusual name, it was an old-fashioned name. What, if, um, what was that old? And she was married to a, 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 a she was married to a Jewish guy that owned a grocery store, her TV husband on the Waltons. Um, she had an unusual name. What was her name? Clarabelle. Well, anyway, Clara Bell. Wasn't it Cora Beth? Her name, her real name is Cora Beth. Where, where, um, uh, uh, where, where, uh, where the other the name was Clara Bell, that she was, uh, Cora her, Beth. Well, anyway, she said, you know, she came up to me when I was a young boy in the 70s. She grabbed me like, she's, oh, Linda Hamilton, you're a cute little nephew. You're so cute. And you're so cute. And she grabbed me like a, like a, like you, like an adult would grab a child. Yeah. And then she said to me, you know, I'm divorced now, and I just would like to take you out to eat. You're and the, you're I'm approved. There's not going to be no sex. I just want to be a big sister to you. So she said, I got all these free meals at all different restaurants. And then, she, and, and then she told me, she, <laughs> she, she, told, she told me that she, did, she only wanted a, 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 a son and, 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 
uh, a son and, 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 and a, 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 a mother and son relationship. There be no, no romance. You ever come on to me, oh, nothing will happen. Then I had an experience. This famous singer, I loved a lot as a kid. June Pointer. June Pointer. Uh, now, what happened? You know the Pointer Pointers? sisters, dude? Yeah. You had a relationship with one of the Pointer but sisters. But nothing happened. She didn't believe in sex out of marriage. She had sex with other people, dude. Married, but, 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 uh, let me woman. speak and tell the story. I had this experience way before you were born. I know. <laughs> okay, let me finish. Okay, uh, June Pointer, I met her at the Norms <laughs> that used to be on Wilshire and Westwood Boulevard. We know that. And one of the storms is closed. It's now an apartment, a big apartment building. Well, anyway, Joan June Pointer was there in a beautiful dress. And I said, I know who you are. You're June Pointer. I really love you. I have all your records. I feel you're super talented. Where are you from? She told me she was from Oakland, California. And so she said, uh, you know, I'd like you to help me give me some tips to break into the entertainment business. I'm going to let you know that I am a prude. I don't believe in sex out of marriage. And... You are nothing but a son to me, but we could meet. But you were on your speak, you, Let me speak. You didn't experience. I did. Let me see. Said I will meet you at a restaurant, and we'll go out and eat, and we'll talk. So this went on for four or five years. I met June Pointer at the uh, yeah. at the, at different restaurants. She didn't want to have sex. She says, "I have a son your age, and I, I don't want to. Oh, really? I just want to be your friend." She was only a couple years older than me, uh, so and she we, lied to but me. But we also found out that she was having sex with other people, too, while she was talking to you. What? You didn't tell me that. I did tell you that. No, you didn't. Yeah. She was having sex with other people while she was talking to you and, and claiming that she wasn't having sex with you because she didn't believe in sex on a marriage. What? This is weird. Girls That's lie. I'm, so the, the I'm telling Playing you. Playing games. You just made like a, a, a great human point. Like girls lie. No, 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 no. Did you ever have a girl that played Oh, I'm sure right. The girl no, sure, I've had sexual relations with two girls in my life. No, what well, girl that you they didn't want to have sex with you that just wanted you to be your friend? A girl that wanted to have sex with me? No, you're not listening. No, no you, you, a girl that you got, you're, now you're playing Latino on me. <laughs> <laughs> you. Uh, you tell me about a girl that wanted to go, that never wanted to have sex with you, that only wanted you as a friend. This has never happened to me personally. Come on, never. it's happened to every guy. Yeah. It, now you the first girl that I did, ever did anything with, it was a night where we both got drunk and it just happened. No, no, that's not it. I, I'm telling you, I'm telling you all my sexual experiences. You've had sex with every girl you've. You, you, I can't believe it. My goodness. He hasn't had Dude, I've had, a, I've had a girlfriend for three years. But, but you told me you 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 I've yeah, never I mean, just wanted to be your friend. I just wanted no, to be your I've friend. No, I've never asked my Catholic nun if I wanted to have sex. <laughs> no, you don't ask your Catholic nun for son that sex. She'll slap you in the face. You ask her if you, she was just your friend, that she liked you a lot, that she's your pet. <laughs> 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 I know you did one time. No, you no I've never been rejected. I've never been. Did you ever sleep with Emily? I've never slept with Emily, no. Tell us about Emily, your friend Emily. So there's a fruit for you. Tell me about Emily. Nothing. No, Emily was the girl that I was trying to I was with. trying, but she never returned me back. Yeah, that's Emily. Will you give her my phone I mean, number? I'm her, I'm her, I am her friend. Yes, I am her friend. Will you just tell I'm, her? Personally, I'm we not have some, We have something in common. We're what both is that? Part, we're both part Norwegian and part German. She told me that. Yeah. We're both did. artists and, the, and she wants to break into the entertainment business. Yeah. Tell her, I yes. am the man for her. I'd like to be her boyfriend. And we can start <laughs> out with being a friend. All right. And, and you want to reach marriage. Yes, tell her we can, I, even she could play fruit with me. Yeah, okay. You want her to play fruit with you? You like, want her to reject you? No, I want her to accept me, but I want to just take it easy. Okay. I, it's like dating is like cooking. Go. You don't want to come on too strong when you run <laughs> you away from You want to test the water. Yeah, yeah. The the, the, well, but my relationship with Emily, I've always been her friend. I well, you just tell her that you have a good friend that you're a fan of that's an actor that really needs a girlfriend and that re 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 really needs a good ma uh, a, a, a woman in her corner. Tell her that I'm, I like a serious relationship with her, but okay. I like to start off as friends. Do you tell know her how that. she looks? 
No, show me your big toe. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think it you, doesn't matter. It's, it doesn't matter as long as she's a woman. Uh, That's not what you said before. Okay, let me show. Oh, he's not real. Fat. You don't have any preferences at all. Yeah, tell tell him your preferences are women. I like women that are slender and attractive, but you can show me. I haven't been with a girl. What's the age, age group you like? I like twenty one through forty. She's not that bad looking. She's kind of attractive. Yeah. Yeah, I like her. She's attractive. It kind yeah. of looks like Sonia Root, my ex, uh, uh, girlfriend. You got to get them together. I'll show you another one. Well, she's pretty. I like. <laughs> what is she doing there? She's fa- she's pregnant. No, no. <laughs> she's just making a pose. Oh, okay. Well, you give her my phone see. number. She's you pregnant. T- <laughs> she looks like my ex girlfriend. She's pregnant. <laughs> she has a child. No. <laughs> Well, she looks like my ex girlfriend Sonia Rude, so and we're both in our part Norwegian. David, would it be okay if she had a child? Huh? Who's that? That's Emily. She's pretty. Give her to ever my phone number. David, if she, if she had a child, would it be okay? If, um, yeah, I, I, I would you would you be willing to go back into stepfatherhood? If sure, I, I, sure. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Well, tell her Emily that you have a nice man for her. Tell you have. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She already knows about you. Well, tell her that. What I'm else should you. Emily know about you, David? Then I'm afraid Anything to physical? Musician. Tell her that Anything. I, you know. She the, already knows about you. She already knows you're a famous actor musician. We've showed her everything that we've seen. Tell her. Yeah, I, what's something she doesn't know? Does she, yeah, what's oh, something, yeah, what's like, something yeah, that yeah, I should yeah, tell her? Tell her. I've been in, I, I tell right. her. I, 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 she knows your past. Right. Okay. Well, give her my phone. How big are you? Huh? How big are you? Wow, you don't you go back and tell her. Well, maybe this is information she wants to know. <laughs> well, seven and a half. Okay. But not as big as I like it to be. I mean, that, that, that's, David, that's, that's, that's above average. That's above average, yeah. That's above average right there. That's, that's getting up there. Well, I wish I always wanted to have a huge one like my boss, uh, Eric Weimer. He's got 14 <laughs> inches. In, you can fit a dick inside his ear. Eric's baseball. also 6'7. Yeah. He's, 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 he's a. I admire him as my boss. I just wish I had. At the dick size he has. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> you imagine going to FedEx, yo? I like him as a manager. <laughs> He's fucking waiter. <laughs> <laughs> Just wish I had the dick. I had that dick though. <laughs> 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 what do you about that? <laughs> <laughs> he has to wish I had his dick size. That'd be sad. Well, he, he, he just got married. His wife is probably enjoying it. I bet. <laughs> Dude, I bet that's one of the sole reasons she wears them right now. <laughs> probably up there. It's probably in the top five. Well, they uh, are really Wait, wait, whoa. David, I'm going to look up. Look, at Ryan, my phone's recording. Look up world's largest dick world record. I thought it was 15. I'd be longer than that. But, like, non synthetic, because there's, like, dudes yeah. that get that surgery. Look up, like, world. Largest or... erect penis. I thought it was good. Jonah Falcon. How big is that? <laughs> Jonah Falcon. <laughs> Man, he's got a girl enjoy that lollipop. What lot. is it? What is it? 15.5. Let me see. So, yeah, Eric's damn near. Yo, so oh. Eric's damn near, like, as big as he, he could. It's almost, it's almost, it's almost up there. <laughs> Eric, uh, 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 Eric is like uh, uh, Eric is like a Mount Everest, and this guy is like a like really huge. What's the biggest mountain? Wow, Lee! Well, his girlfriend's gonna enjoy all that whipped cream. Or his wife, I mean, his wife. <laughs> you imagine how many girls you need to jerk you off? You need like you need like four different girls just to jerk you off, dude. Yeah, that's dude, a I big can't big find any picture of Jonah Falcon's yeah. penis. Oh. You know, yeah, yeah, they got it. They're all like they sensors. Oh, how let me see how like the sensor, how far the sensor goes out. Like here, like it's like you can see it through his pants. Yeah, this is like a forward shot. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. Well, I bet you that guy upstairs would enjoy that. Yeah, the guy right there. Oh, dude, look at you! You can see like that's flaccid. <laughs> that's flaccid. Yeah. Wow. Let's see flaccid. <laughs> Wow. That's flaccid. So you just be walking around with that. <laughs> He's walking around with three feet. That's flaccid. Lump, though. Yeah. He's walking around with three legs. That's like not that's not hard right there. That's he's just walking around with that. Oh well, he's got three three legs. <laughs> <Your> <laughs> size. Quite literally, dude. 
Jam jam. Man, that's a lot of, for a girl to love. That's a big lollipop for a girl. Dude, that wouldn't even fit down a girl, dude. Damn. Yeah, that's just that's too you, big, I'd say. It being her yeah, it, 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 That's the Mount Everest stick. It being her intestines. <laughs> that's the Mount Everest stick. That yeah, you probably only get about four or five inches in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, dude, they say like a girl's like like cervix. Well, you know, or, like, girls, vagina, yeah. vagina, I whatever, think girls, only, like, I seven think inches max. My sure. wife, my wife, well, I, I don't know how. I've seen girls uh, go to the, I don't know how they do it. How they put the whole big dick in their mouth, the whole thing from the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> depends on the size. I've seen depends girls. The yeah, yeah, it depends on the girl, size. I, I've seen yeah. girls just, you know, devour that huge uh, mushroom up. <laughs> like they're hungry. Yeah. yeah. So have I. Uh, huh? So have I. You've seen it too. You've seen it too, David. Oh, you have. Wow. Yeah. Well, girls hungry for that. That 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 thick. They 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 can they can they, they, they can man they they can uh, hungry jack that up. Yeah, they could slam one down, dripping down their throat. Yeah. Mm, wow. <laughs> so can we just end it and? Go, uh, we'll, we'll do it again. We'll continue yeah, later. Closing statements. Yeah, make some closing statements. Well, we'll do one closing topic and be done. Okay. One last topic we got to talk about. Okay. No, not and it's up to topic. you. It's up to you, David. What, what do you about, want to talk about? Uh, what about the, uh, the uh, well, what about the end? How things end? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> How things like, end? Like, you want to talk death? about the end of the world? No, the end of doing the show. I want to go home. <laughs> 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 Yo, that was crazy. I thought it was some deep shit with the end. And it just turned out to be the end of the- Okay, okay, let's go, Joe. <laughs> you said you were going to give me my two drinks to go home. Oh. Where my oh. I got to look for them. Oh, okay. You got, yeah, you, you got your money's worth for me. You know, I, I'm a paid... David, are you enjoying yourself? Did you I, did you drink the two loganberries that I put in your fridge? Yes, I did. You don't you get me the other ones? You know, I will, you get them I will, I will, I will. You got all this free acting from me. Normally costs an David, are you having fun? Can you, you finish your squirt? You got to finish your squirt. You start drinking it. Where is it? Right there. When you're done with that, we'll... <laughs> okay, well, I got to... You promised this is my squirt? Yes. Okay, and when I finish this, you get me my drinks right now. Come on, oh. come on let's go. Thank yeah. you. I will get it. Uh, I'm to hold this man huh? <laughs> God. Is this my drink? Are you sure you're not That's down? you. That's all you, David. <laughs> but the pound is for boys. <laughs> this man wants to Did Cody have something against blackberries? <laughs> I love to go poop. Did Cody have something against blackberries? Cody. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. He's because I had the Logan berries in my fridge. Maybe your neighbors, your friends, your, your your guests drank them up, or your girl. Well, what I'm thinking is because the floor was sticky this morning. <laughs> that was a loganberry, dude. I'm thinking the loganberry was spilled on the kitchen floor. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Are you he loves loganberries. <laughs> no, no, it's the thing. It's because I didn't touch <laughs> the fridge. We brought him some. He's addicted. I don't think anybody would like nor- like. Well, why did you get? Why did your guys- brother drink them? Why did your brother drink them? Why don't you guys send me some loganberries? I could eat- I couldn't get him to send me some. Uh, if you want to call and talk to me, uh, we can this talk shit. Uh, 213-381-0791. <laughs> Why don't you send me some? Since you work at FedEx, you, oh, you can send me a thing and Logan Berries, too. Sure, I'll send them with them. Okay, thank you. They work at FedEx. They'll get it over fast. Yeah, yeah. Through the Express. <laughs> the okay, Express. Okay, can we go, Joe? That's Ryan. Ryan's we can do. We can do a part two, I promised you, when you go come back. David, do you want to drive? We'll all go with you. Okay, no, you're drunk. Every yeah. time you play this, okay, let me use the bathroom. Every time I play this, <laughs> oh, this is the first time. Oh, you, you get drunk on me. Say, you got to bring me food on the floor. Because I am too drunk. Me and Chris are too drunk. But I appreciate you getting even with me for Tim and Eric. Okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> That'll take that. Yeah. Uh, no, we're well, allowed to get a couple times. We don't get drunk very often. Well, you got like, drunk on the Fourth of July. You said you most people do. I don't. I know you don't. Won't you stay here since you're a neighbor can drive home? We're all gonna come with him. Stop and buy me a sandwich. Yeah, you can sell mine. I'll no. If we stop somewhere, I'll buy it. Don't worry. But I'm not gonna let you drive alone with him. I think I'm gonna be chilling here, dude. I did. <laughs> I don't know if I'm trying to go for the ride right now with all these drunk men in the car. Come with. Drunk. I don't want to be. It's, 
It can't be us three. At least, Ricotta, I mean, Ricotta, come on, you can go. This is the last time you're going to see Second last time. Second last time you're going to see